And with that, speaking of a transition into every town for gun safety, Tim, you know it's for the children. It's for the children. It's always for the children. Yes. It is. Yes. It is. It's all for the children. Um, well, it turns out sometimes they need to proofread their press releases and their amicus <laughs> briefs that they send to SCOTUS. Because I just I want to read a few things to you about this um, friend of the court document that they sent against bump stock bans. Because I think that this is a very interesting observation because there's something that keeps popping up. So this is from right before Christmas, and I wanted to get your take on it. Here's the actual article that they announced on Every Town for Gun Safety. Leading gun safety groups urge SCOTUS to uphold bump stock ban. Now, before we even get into it, Tim, they told us bump stocks were done. They were dead. They were machine guns. It was over. It was a piece of cake. Sixth, Sixth Circuit said no. Fifth Circuit said yes. It's crazy. We're good, right? Yep. It's weird. Yeah. Weird. I thought I, I thought it was like a wrapped up little enchilada ready for consumption. But it turns out they're they're sending amicus briefs in Garland versus Cargill, which is the bump stock ban. So let me just read a few of these things here real quick. This is number eight. Today, four of the nation's leading gun violence prevention organizations, Giffords, Brady, Everytown, and March for Our Lives, filed an amicus brief before the U.S. Supreme Court urging the court to uphold the federal bump stock ban in, Carl in Garland versus Cargill. Okay, so what I'm about to show you is a few of the statements from the actual people involved in these organizations. And you tell me if something sounds very familiar because I think that you will. Let's go to the chief legal officer of Brady, again, signed into this letter. Quote, bump stocks pose a unique pernicious threat to our society. The threat these deadly devices pose can turn any American gathering, whether it be a concert, a parade, or a community festival into a war zone. Here we go. With a bump stock, a civilian can have access to what is essentially a machine gun, exponentially increasing the lethality of already dangerous arms. What stands out there, Tim? It's all one big lie. It doesn't convert anything into a machine well, gun. I mean, obviously, but but the word they use, Tim, play along. I don't know. You tell me what word. They essentially, use. Tim, essentially, because bump stocks are supposed to be machine guns. Oh, you're, if it's I essentially yeah. a machine gun, if it's essentially a machine they gun, just that means that it's, it's not. not a machine yeah. gun. They just admitted it's right not. Hmm. in a letter to the SCOTUS. <laughs> I find that so odd. You'd think that a, a high-powered attorney would know better than that. Jeez. You would think. No, no, wait, oh, oh, this this isn't the pie. This is just the, the uh, chief legal officer. Wait till I show you what the attorney said. You're going to love every minutia of this one. But yeah, so essentially. Well, now let's go down. Let's just keep on trucking because I think this is a good one too. This is number 13. Um, bump stocks enable shooters to mimic the rapid firing capabilities of automatic weapons, essentially turning semi-automatic weapons into machine guns. We mimic the yeah. rapid fire capability. So they doubled down on stupid. They went with mimic Wait and essentially. <laughs> that's so odd. Yeah, because you're mimicking it. That one I which means it's not. Mimic. Yeah, that's funny. Well, yeah, you need to pay attention to your essentials. <laughs> it's the Wuhan Weezer. That's what it is. That's what it is. You're just a little fuzzy. Like a little COVID foggy. brain. Yeah. You got COVID brain. Exactly. That's what it is. Fauci ouchy gotcha. Um, oh, but there's yeah, no Fauci ouchy here. Mimic. Oh, don't you say that. You are not safe. Don't you say that. You are <laughs> Natural not on immunity, the internet. baby. Natural immunity. They will come for you. Oh, my. You were just tripling down. You were like these people. Good <laughs> Lord. Yeah, I forgot my mask this morning. Am I, am I threatening oh, your life? I, you are. I feel my uncomfortable. face diapers upstairs. Dang it. Before nah, I, anyway. I know, I know it's worse. I hate it when I, when I do that. Uh, what'd you say in a previous segment? <laughs> no, never mind. Never mind. I'm not asking that question. <laughs> Withdrawn. Withdrawn, sir. Um, and now, Tim, this is me. That was the rumble strips we just felt and bumped into. Yes. We're, we're being back on the road now. Back That's the, the famous rumble strips. That's right. Um, this is what the lawyer said. I, you're going to love every moment of this. Quote, it was a privilege to represent Giffords, Brady, every town for gun safety and march for our lives in this important matter. Congress has spoken clearly in banning machine guns and forbidding efforts to evade the ban with technical contrivances. <laughs> what? Yeah, so they, they tripled um, down on stupid. Yeah. They, with technical contrivances. They just can't help themselves but calling out the fact that it's not a machine gun. 
Exactly. Isn't that weird, Tim, how all of this, this whole letter and all of these people who are pushing for the bump stock ban to be enacted based off the principle that it's a machine gun. And they told us it was a machine gun. They argued in circuit court that it was a machine gun are saying in a SCOTUS approved letter to the amicus or excuse me, amicus to the um, SCOTUS, the people who will be deciding this, they're telling you it's not a machine gun, but they're arguing it's a machine gun. Right. It's not a machine gun, but let's go ahead and treat it like a machine gun. <clears throat> oh, and by the way, let's go ahead and let the ATF ban things willy nilly under Chevron deference and just write laws and make them up out of whole cloth. Yeah. I mean, no, that's not an issue here either. You know, it, it's Mm-mm. no. <sighs> it's 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 really enjoyable for me to watch them do this in real time and be like, oh, you did it. Oh, you did it. I can't believe you did it. It's literally the whole point of their argument is machine guns are bad, but these aren't machine guns, but they're like machine guns, but they are machine guns. I mean, li- I, the cyclical logic. I hope that that pops in the eyes of at least one oh, justice. It has to. I, I would hope it so. It has to. And if not, I hope oh, man. that the the, 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 uh, the attorneys representing the pro-gun side are quick to point this out to the justices. <laughs> I just hope right, exactly. that, that they go, look at this, look at this, and look at this. They'd be like, Oof. Exactly. Yeah. It's so weird because even in the body of the letter, I mean, we're, if I go to nine, going back to the main body, I just showed you previous what the officer said. This is the same thing. They duplicated it for the fourth time or they replicated it for the fourth time, rather. Um, this is a, something that prohibited the production, sale and possession of bump stocks, devices whose sole purpose is to enable semi-automatic firearms to fire like machine gun. Like <laughs> Not it, as if it are you guys uh, trying as a machine gun, like if it were like maybe, a machine gun, kind of sort yeah. of, you know. We, it's it, in summation, Tim, let me just run this back. We've got like a machine gun, mimic a machine gun, essentially machine gun and technical contrivances. Yep. Guys, that's impressive. You're doing it wrong. <laughs> you hey. are overtly doing it wrong, but please continue. Yeah. Just step but back and let continue. your enemies do these things. I mean, this is pretty epic. I, I can't believe if, if this gets called out in court if these attorneys still have a job afterwards Uh and i hope that they do because these are excellent attorneys (laughs) um (laughs) they're probably going to lose their jobs i mean (laughs) i I mean oh my goodness if if this were my attorney and i read this brief i'd be like uh uh, yeah can you go before the court and tell them i need a new attorney please we got to stop this right right here it's it's just it speaks to so many – to me, it speaks to two things on two different levels. One, it speaks to the manipulation of the higher-up gun-controlling elements. I think that's a big part of this. But then the other part of this is it speaks to the lack of knowledge of what they're actually trying to do. Like, right. if you don't even know uh, – you, it's, it's that old adage. You're either stupid or you're ignorant, and both are bad. Which one do you want to be? Right. <laughs> it's like you're defeating your own point, and you're talking to the SCOTUS. I can just see T- Clarence Thomas going, um, you said it was a machine gun. Yes, uh, yes, Your Honor, it is a machine gun. Um, then why does it say it's essentially a machine gun? Does that not or, mean or it's like not a machine gun? A machine oh, gun yeah. uh, 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 uh. It's mimicking machine, but I thought it was. Uh, 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 uh. It's just, it's so laughable. 